Hello everybody, welcome back to the Reset Info channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the private space on your Vivo X300 and X300 Pro. So first, we're going to start off by going into the settings. So let's enable the settings. Now let's scroll down and go to security and privacy. Here we need to scroll a bit down until we see the privacy settings section and here we will have our private space. And as you guys can see, safeguard your private information and we will be able to move the data and download apps to our private space. And here we also have a unique fingerprint, so it's definitely private and it's even more secure. So we need to sign in with a different account to keep our data private, secure and separate from the main space. Let's click on enter and the first one is we need to set up our privacy password. I'll use the pin one, but in the other password types, we can set the pattern, four digit pin or a mixed password. So I'll use one, two, three, four, five, six. And this password is very easy and we even got a security URL alert for it. So make sure you do not use the same password as me. You need to think of something that nobody would guess. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll use this password so it's easy to remember. Now, I'll click on continue and whenever you see that notification on your screen that you got a security alert, then I would recommend you guys changing the password. As you guys can see, here we have the security questions and whenever we forget our privacy password, we can answer it by that. As you guys can see, what is your ideal job? What model was your first car? And what was the name of the first movie you saw in a cinema? You guys can also set a custom question. So for an example, hard reset. And then the answer will be info. And let's say, what is your ideal, let's say not job, but we're going to go over and what was the name of your first pet? Here, my answer will be Vivo for an example. Let's click next. And here we need to add a security email. You guys can, of course, do that later. But here you guys can enter the email and then enter the code. But since those mails are very delayed, then I won't do that right now because it will be impossible to get the code in time. Now, here we have our private space. As you guys can see, we are in it. Here we can move files. We can add apps for an example. So I'll add Instagram. Let's click on add. And now we can use Instagram. But first we need to, of course, log in to everything back. So this is how the private space works. We can move files right here. So let's say photos. And I want to move this photo of the car right here. Let's click done and click move in. And as you guys can see, this image won't be backed up to the cloud because it's in a private space and the cloud does not store your private things. And it's all backed up locally on your device. So here we have the isolation protection. Here we have the local storage. If we're incognito, that isolation and everything. Here we even got the explanation how it works. So let's say background activities of apps within the private space will be hidden when you exit. And here we have the privacy password the fingerprint verification if we want to enable it here we need to enter our privacy password and we can add it but first of course the security email so i won't be able to do that now here we have the privacy control like entrance settings and here as you guys can see we can swipe left from the dock we can lock screen unique fingerprint and we can also disable or enable reset background apps entrances from other apps like file manager and albums and entrance of moved files here as you guys can see we have the permission control we can enable or disable the wi-fi now we can also do the same for the microphone and the camera and here we have our storage now this is the available space and used by private space we only use one gigabyte so it's nothing but the instagram is right here so of course it's 100 megabytes and now what we can do we can add more apps or we can remove the files so for an example we want to remove this picture right here and here in albums we can see that this picture is on our private space so now 
this is how you guys can use it. If you want to exit it, you just click here and you will be moved to the main screen. And that's it for the video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, then leave a like, subscription and a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.